Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, got some big news. Um, going to do a three-part series here. Big changes coming to the, the Road King special. You know, last video I did back in December, talked about, you know, during these winter months, taking some downtime, doing some modifications to the bike, um, friends' bikes, things of that nature. And uh, decided to make a really big change. Um, so stick around, roll that intro, and uh, I'll get into it. As I said, uh, got some big changes coming. But before I jump into that, you know, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Eric. Um, this channel really focuses on my 2017 Road King Special rides, reviews, modifications, um, and you know, when I mentioned in the, in the beginning, I just been thinking about making some changes to the bike and doing some research, and you know, came across. Uh, the FXRT King build that Matt Laidlaw did, and I really like that that build um, with the fairing. And you know, some of you may be thinking, "Well, why would you even do that? Why don't you just get a road glide?" Well, I don't need the infotainment. I don't need a lot of the um, you know a lot of that jazz. So I just use my iPhone for for nav, and you know, I just I don't need the to spend the extra ten thousand um, dollars or you know possibly more for for a road glide. But nonetheless. You know, I'm also doing that, you know, T-bar setup for more of an aggressive ride. Um, so I have a ton of stuff that I've been waiting for to come in um, to do this project. The, the fairing is from Russ, Russ Wernemont Designs out of California. I don't have it yet, but I ordered a couple weeks ago. You know, hopefully that'll be in soon. And I'm going to do a lot of the unboxing for the T-bar setup. I went with um, Krause's... Uh, Cross is set up. We did the um, the um, the isolated kickback um, risers at 12 inch uh, with the fly moto bars and the um, the OD OD uh, moto grips. Um, so I'm going to show you guys all that. But yeah, so you know this will probably span out into a three part build series. Today I'm just going to break down the fairing and I'm not the fairing, the nacelle and you know the um, the turn signal lighting in the front and rip all that down, pull the bars down and then get it all set up for the fairing. So I'll do the T-bar install um, with the risers and uh, just kind of show you the process and you know see how everything goes. So if you would uh, appreciate if you like, comment and subscribe and uh, you know, let's get going. All right, so let's take a quick inventory of the, the parts. So, Starting with the grips, um, went with the Heartluck OD um, Moto grips. Obviously the hard, hardware pack. Here are the Kraus isolated kickback in 12 inches and 12 inch rise. And then we got the Kraus Fly Moto um, <clears throat> in powder coat. Didn't go with paint, um, just, you know, if you look on Cross's website, they talk about it fading. So the powder coat, I think was the, is probably the best route to take. And then I have the Clockworks nine inch flare. So this will, uh, I'll mount this to the fairing, the RWD, Russ Warnemont fairing, FXR fairing. Um, it comes with a windshield, but, uh, or it comes with one, but uh, I like the Clockworks nine inch flare. A little bit better so I got that to put on that when that comes in.
All right, so switching cameras here. Um, so, all right, so first and foremost, I have my torque wrench, okay? Mine's inch pounds, um, so I just 55 foot pounds converted to inch pounds to 660 inch pounds. Um, so, so no problem with that. Um, you know, he, here's the setup, as you can see. Um, I didn't need a vice, uh, you know, 660 uh, inch pounds. You know, I could put my knee on this and crank it and I was able to torque it, you know, to specification. So all good there. Um, I'm going to mount this back onto the triple tree and then uh, we'll switch gears. Like I said before, I'll start fishing that wire out of the bars. We'll run them through the fly moto once this is mounted and then we'll pull the top clamp off the riser and then we'll mount them up. You know, we'll hook in the the controls, the the um, the grips and, and you know, that'll probably, you know, we'll call it for for today uh, after that. And then, you know, I'll talk about the next video and whatnot. All right. So stay tuned.
much it for now. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna make adjustments on everything. It's not anything you guys need to see, but at the end of the day, you know, this is what this is kind of where my, my position will be now. Pretty nice. I think with that fairing, it's going to work out really well. I love these grips. <laughs> anyway, like I said, more to come, guys. Um, just wanted to get this part done today. I'll reconnect everything in the front. Uh, let me know what you think. Comment below. Um, there's, like I said, more, more to come. Fairings on the way, or should be on the way in the next week or so. Um, I already have a painter lined up for that, but I'll get it, I'll, you know, I'll mock it up, make sure everything's good with my clearances. If I need to make any tweaks, I'll tweak it. Um, you know, and then, you know, I'll do the mock up as a video and then when we get it back from the painter, we'll do the, the final install and uh, you know, see how everything goes. So again, um, if you guys are new to the channel, please uh, please subscribe, smash that uh, um, subscribe button, like, comment. Greatly appreciate the support, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.